If you have a fledgling company that either can't grow because you have competitors in your space and you're essentially you know, bootstrapped at a certain level, or you are a zombie company in a similar situation where you have cash on the, on the you have a lot of cash, but you don't really have anything to do with it because scaling wouldn't make any, any more sense at the time. Adding Bitcoin to the balance sheet is something that serves a few purposes. One, it allows you to add what all of us believe is the best asset, the best commodity onto your balance sheet that will bolster your balance sheet. It allows you to increase the volatility and the interest in your stock because Bitcoin is a highly sentiment-driven commodity. It's a, it's a highly volatile commodity, commodity. So the simplest way to explain this to people is that when you add that to your balance sheet in size, your equity, in, a, in essence, inherits those qualities because of the volatility you can create in your business model and the volatility you can create in your overall cash flow, so on and so on and so forth. It then allows you to keep the model going in the sense that if you pivot from just being company XYZ to company XYZ that buys Bitcoin, you can buy more Bitcoin, increase your volatility, increase your holdings. Now, as Bitcoin goes up in price, that means your net asset value goes up in price, right? And your net asset value, if you want to really, really simplify this, is all of your Bitcoin holdings in aggregate, the dollar amount that that is. As Bitcoin goes up in price, your net asset value goes up in price, your market cap goes up in price, the interest in your company goes up in price, the value of your stock goes up in price, and it becomes a very, very self-healing recursive feedback loop or a flexive loop, 